Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Scrap Mart Live. But we're going to talk today about um, the new Copic markers. Some of you have seen them on the website and I want to give you a little bit of a tutorial how to use Copic markers with your rubber stamps because surely if you've all been scrapbooking as long as I have or even half as long, you've got a stash of rubber stamps. So what I want to do is, this is um, a teddy bear stamp, I'm going to just stamp him up with black ink. Just any black ink you can use permanent mark or uh, permanent ink. This happens to be um, VersaFine, okay? But what I am going to do is emboss it. I'm going to emboss with clear. Got my clear embossing powder here in my little um, Glad container. I'm going to sprinkle some clear powder on this so that I can color over it. A lot of the inks you have to let dry. Since Copic markers are alcohol based, a lot of the dye inks will break down when they're hit with an alcohol ink. So when you emboss, you're kind of cheating the system. So let me get this embossed. You're gonna see the color come back after I color, covered it up with that clear powder. Alrighty. Okay. So now that you can see that that is embossed and nice and shiny. So what I'm going to show you, let me zoom in here a little bit and see if I can get this in an area so that you can watch. Okay, now you're gonna have a close up view. Now I am gonna color this with um, the Copic markers. I'm starting with the lightest color I have that's, that is called cream, okay? It's super light color. Um, the thing about, uh, Copics is you blend. They blend so nicely because they are alcohol ink. Oh, because I can color on screen. There we go. Sorry, I've never done this in telephoto mode. Um, you can color real quickly. And I'm just going to go over the entire image here. This is just going to give him a base color. Okay, any of the. Alright, so he's just got a nice tan, creamy color. Now I'm going to go one color deeper, and this is called chamois. And I'm going to start by coloring his ears in, and just kind of tracing over the outsides of his fur, the edges, where things would be shadowed, okay? This is going to be his little paw prints and his hand prints, and go up around the lines that the stamp company has put in there for me, creases in his body joints and things like that. A well-loved teddy bear. Come down a little bit on his face and around his nose. I'm going to give, give his nose a little bit darker color. All right, now all of that brown is still wet. So I can take my, this is back to my lighter color, my cream. Now I can go in a little bit more and blend that color. Okay, actually I'm going to use the fat tip here. And so it doesn't look like you've drawn a line. It now looks very subtle, but it's definitely darker. Okay, and this one, all right. Now I'm gonna take a darker color yet. This one is called Dark Bark. Use our little brush tip here. I'm gonna go back over his feet and make them even darker. And what's so nice about this alcohol ink that you can blend means you can also build. You don't have to start really dark. And it also means that you don't have to own all the colors because dark gray over a lot of the colors will automatically make it, you know, an orange will make it a darker orange. I think I want his nose a little darker too. Let's make this the final coat for his feet. And I'm going to take my red, this is called cadmium, cadmium red. We're going to use the brush end. Whenever you're using a Copic marker, when you grab it, the end that has the gray stripe on it is the brush end. And in all honesty, that's the end I use the most. Especially when you're coloring little tiny details like this, you just barely drag that tip of the brush over your paper. And the paper just kind of sucks in the, the color. All right, now I'm gonna take my light color one more time. And just, sorry, we're going back to the, the broad tip. Just gonna smear it all around one more time. So I've had so much fun the last couple days playing with stamps. I seriously, I'm embarrassed to admit how many stamps I have in boxes that um, 
have either never been assembled or never ever been inked up. All right, so here's my little bear. He's all colored. He's cute. Can you see him in the light? There, we'll tilt it a little bit. Look how cute he is. And that just took a couple of minutes. And in all honesty, it took these three colors. The cream, the uh, chamois, and the dark bark. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this into a card here and I'll post the finished product on the blog with the finished link to the YouTube video. All of these markers um, are available. Go, you know, treat yourself. Buy a couple markers that you like that you think you'd use a lot of um, and get a couple of them. Get two or three from each collection and um, throw in a gray and you've got a lot of possibility. Thanks so much for watching Scrap Mart Live. Bye-bye. <laughs>